okay so hi uh, today i'll be uh, explaining uh, uh, the name reaction of uh, benzyl benzylic acid rearrangement so basically this is the name reaction uh, and uh, for this we actually need to have uh, as a substrate we need to have one two dicarbonyl compound i'm sure this video yeah so one two dicarbonyl compound and uh, and with this as a substrate if we take one to diagonal compound and then uh, to this if we add uh, a base a base uh, then uh, as a product what we get is alpha hydroxy uh, acid alpha hydroxy acid so this is basically the name reaction in general but uh, to elaborate it i would like to show it with uh, the mechanism itself but uh, yeah one to diagonal compound so one two diacarbonyl compound will be of uh, so this is your uh, benzyl basically the names as, as the name suggests benzyl so this is benzyl or the one two diacarbonyl compound and to this we add base and the base may be uh, potassium hydroxide or it may be sodium hydroxide and secondly if we add uh, ace 3 positive to it so what we get is uh, the product will be uh, the product will be uh, alpha hydroxy acid this is alpha hydroxy uh, acid and this is called the benzylic acid so as the name suggests benzyl to benzylic acid we get uh, we get this so um, if i try and explain the mechanism this is like very simple uh, so let's just move on to the mechanism now so what basically happens here is this the benzyl uh, if you tra if you take a one to diagonal compound and add a base to it that is potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide anything anyone and then um, and then then if we just <coughs> add up is to positive i mean after that uh, we will get definitely this alpha hydroxy acid which is the benzylic acid now for the mechanism if we take this uh, the substrate so if you take the substrate and then uh, from the base so suppose we are taking this potassium hydroxide so this base this base comes and attacks in any one of the uh, um, carbonyl compound this positive place no here if it attacks then or uh, definitely the um, this bond breaks breaks and then what we get is we get a structure like this right so we get a structure like this and OH comes and attach over here. So this negative, it again comes back to this position and what happens is that this phenyl group, it goes and it goes and attacks here and then this oxygen, this bond again breaks like this. So after this, what we, uh, what happens to this is that uh, now, actually this, uh, this is double bond though now and then uh, we'll have suppose this is this OH and then we have with this we have this phenyl phenyl and this is oxygen negative and then uh, everywhere you know that acid base reaction will definitely take place so when acid base reaction takes place um, then what happens is acid base reaction takes place within itself so it takes away this uh, it takes away this H power H uh, hydrogen from there and then um, it gets converted to OH and this so now if uh, in the second step since we had this H3 positive so if we give this H3 positive to it as a result we get is uh, where is this oh sorry then as a result we'll get uh, this as this answer so i'm sure this was not that difficult to understand uh, and or if we do it more easily then this let the carbon be here let the phenyls be like this and then um, this is the alpha hydroxy and carboxylic acid so this is the basically the benzylic acid that we got so the mechanism was quite simple i think uh, right sorry sorry for the bad quality of the video guys so you see uh, what happens is that in the, as, uh, as the uh, for, for the mechanism first we take this one to diagonal compound the base comes and then attacks the um, 
positive center and then the bond breaks and what happens after that is that this bond uh, this negative charge it comes back again and this group it migrates to this position and then same thing happens again after that this acid base reaction takes place and then we give water in the secondly and then it gets converted to benzylic acid so this was very simple i think uh, and there are actually um, uh, actually there are some uh, a little bit of tricky things in this uh, name reaction there are a few things that should be uh, remembered so I will be uploading it very soon and there are some questions uh, I, I think I will be doing a uh, one or two questions uh, related to this name reaction and uh, also some tricky uh, tricky ones so stay tuned and uh, if you like this video then and if, you, if, if it was helpful to you then please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah, that's all. Thank you.